Bubblicious, do you like to be held and cuddled? I think he likes it. I think he likes it. But he wasn't always like this. When I got him, he was a little itty bitty baby. He was a baby chick and he was pretty scared of me. So I worked with him from the beginning and now he is very tame. Now they don't all, all work out like this, even if you work at it from the beginning. But I have put together a little routine that I do to help tame my chickens so that I can cuddle them and love on them as adults. And I'm going to show you how to do it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. So a few weeks ago, I went out and got baby chicks. It was not my fault. I was coerced. <laughs> Anyway, I've been working on taming them for a few weeks and uh, they are super fun. They are super cute. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I do, but first I'm gonna go change because right now I'm working on not con cross contaminating my flock. So I'm gonna go change and then I'll meet you outside with these babies. Okay, so I put the baby chicks in this safe. It's like a, the top part of a guinea pig cage. I'm going to stay out here with them this whole time because there's not they're not old enough to be out here by themselves and they're super vulnerable when they're out here. And I've got, you know, all kinds of critters and predators out here. So I wouldn't leave them out here by themselves. And plus, I don't want them to get chilled. So I need to pay attention to their behavior. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up like a little sweatshirt that they where they can come out of the guinea pig cage and they can go under the sweatshirt if they want. And what that does is it makes them feel like I'm their mom. So <laughs> because I am, I'm their mom. So they start to get really secure with me and they like associate security with me. So, um, you know, I'm always talking about how important it is to expose your chickens to the outdoors when they're babies. If you're concerned about um, their age, you know, when they're really little, you can start at about two weeks. I, I sometimes will start before that. Now it depends on the weather. If it's like less than 60 degrees outside, you wouldn't want to leave them out there. And certainly if it's not like raining or snowing, it depends on the weather and just stay out there with them and make sure they don't get chilled. But this is a way where it's like, they will come to you to warm up. And so they just associate you with that feeling of security and warmth. So when I first started doing this, they really wanted to get underneath the sweatshirt. But now after, you know, I've been doing it for a couple weeks, they will just come up to me and just kind of sit on my lap. And I guess that, you know, they just get warmth from my lap. So they just, <laughs> they just want to be with me. Once they start getting chilled, they're like, okay, we need to go. We need to go to this human. And then they, they just started to get really cuddly and tame with me. Right now they're excited to be outside. They've been inside all day. So they're excited and they're exploring and they're like taking little dust baths, even though there's no dust. <laughs> and they're also acclimating to the environment they're acclimating to the weather that I'm in I mean right now it's probably like 60 degrees out here and and they've got a lot of feathers like they're these aren't bantam chickens these are um, naked neck turkins <laughs> my favorites <laughs> and uh, they're gonna be big girls so they've got lots of feathers and they'll be ready to go outside very soon in there now obviously I don't want them to suffocate so you got to be really careful <laughs> but they're just kind of like they're just chilling out underneath there and they're getting warm and they'll probably fall asleep to me this is a great time to just like pay attention to my baby chicks listen to what they're trying to communicate to me you know, kind of get that intuitive feeling about how my chickens are doing. And I can carry that with me through the remainder of their life as, you know, when they become big chickens, I can just use that awareness and that intuition to know how they're doing. And sometimes it's really hard to tell like if a chicken is sick or if they're stressed or whatever, because they hide that kind of stuff. They hide it really well. But if you're in tune with your chickens, 
you can start to develop that sense where you're like, okay, I know something's not right. And then you can handle it, you know, when it needs to be handled. Now it is super fun to have tame baby chicks, but you know what's more important than that? Having healthy baby chicks and a healthy flock. And you know what? I have a course that will teach you from baby chick to adult chickens to the end of their life, everything that you need to do. It is called Chickenlandia's Backyard Chickens 101, a chicken course for everyone. And all you have to do is click right here. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens education and entertainment. And I know you're gonna love it, right? <laughs>